Now that's a water source. It's about uh, 10 minutes or so. Past where I showed you the other one. Yes, so feel free to bypass the, uh, <laughs> the other one and just come here. I have uh, three bottles of water on me at the moment, so I don't need this, but uh, yeah, that's a great, great water source here. Really fast flowing, clean as. And let's see. This is a, a little over two hours from uh, when I started off this morning, so if you're one of these folks that's carrying one liter capacity of uh, water and that's it. This would be the place. Very nice. You can still hear the water. The water's just down there. That's a nice spot here. Awesome for hammocking. Now there's a sign saying that the uh, the bridge is washed out. I don't know how old this sign is though, it looks like it's been here quite a while. So we shall see. Coming through uh, rhododendron forest here, passing a couple of uh, very good water sources. This isn't far from where we just were at the other one. And uh, we're pretty close to a road. I think this one was listed in AWOL's book. Yeah, there's a neat area in here. This would be really nicely protected from the wind. Yeah, it's nice to be around so much water again. Especially in that section before uh, Damascus. It wasn't particularly plentiful up there. <laughs> oh, that looks like fun. I wonder if this is where Early Riser fell in the water. Mmm. Boy, in the summertime, this would be nice though. Rest your feet under here. That's uh, that's about a foot and a half deep. Nice spot. All right. Well, I'm going to put my phone away and see how I'm going to walk across all this rotten wood with, uh, without falling in. All right, wish me luck. Conquered. Dry feet. Dry feet are good. I don't know if this is where Early Riser fell in, but man, man like, that sucked. I hated hearing that he, that he did that. Especially when there's snow on the ground as well. That's... Uh, yeah, it's not a good day. All right, onwards. And uh, not necessarily upwards, it's pretty flat. Catch you later. And the water's just over that lip where I just crossed. And there is a, I think this was listed in the guide. I seem to remember them saying there was a campsite right by this road. 
there's plenty of flat area here and even here too but I mean you're you know I if I'm gonna be by a road I don't really want to be visible from the road you just I don't know you just never know who's gonna rock up not everybody uh, has favorable views of the AT and the people who hike it Now, I have seen some nice camp spots by roads, but yeah, this is a, a little too open and exposed. And my tent isn't exactly forest camo. <laughs> On purpose. I've never been a fan of forest camo. This is great water though. Great water. Oh, this is neat. Yeah, that's one of the disadvantages of coming at this time of year. Because in the summertime, I'll be going down there onto that concrete platform and hanging my feet in there. This is way too cold at the moment, though. This is nice. Okay, we'll keep the camera rolling here. Wow. And again, I mean, yeah, you could camp here. Just, you know, you never know who's driving by. Especially as a woman. I, I wouldn't feel safe. This is nice. Now somehow I have to figure out how I'm getting across this. Hmm. Definitely wish we luck on this one. Yeah, well that sucked. I didn't feel comfortable walking right there because it's really fast, so I went up a little ways. Put the crocs on. Jesus. Just beating your way through a rhododendron forest here. And I love rhododendrons. That, that, that is not fun. It's a good thing I've got a, a tough pack. Yeah, that was some bushwhacking forcing my way through there. But made it. <sighs> gotta put my uh, gotta put my shoes on. Continue onwards. Easy trail north. The uh, Virginia Creeper Trail. And the Great Floyd River. Yeah, I just passed some locals. He said it's uh, about a 30 mile cycle track. Starts about 17 miles uh, above town. And uh, it's massive kind of in the middle. And then you just continue south. And it's mostly downhill, which is why it's probably so popular. And uh, popular fishermen too, I would say, just by these guys with their fishing poles. But yeah, what did, what did I learn today? Oh yeah, don't try and get cute and creative when crossing <laughs> bodies of water. Probably spent about half an hour trying to find an easier place to cross. And then cross. And then forcing my way through jungle. Just to get back to uh, to where the footbridge was. Yeah. 
Just take your shoes off, put your Crocs on, cross the water, get it over and done with. Just eating up time, trying to look for a safer, I mean, you know, granted I didn't want to fall in the water, in deep water, so I was trying to find a shallower spot, but... Suck it up, get it done, get her done. That's uh, southbound. That's a nice spot, wow. Yeah, I'll have to take a couple of minutes to go down and have a look at this thing. Man, who wouldn't want to camp here? That's the uh, Virginia Creeper Trail there. I know there are people that sort of bypass this whole section of the AT and just follow the Creeper Trail. But you know, if you're not a purist, it's a totally legit option. Yeah, this is really nice. And there's more area through there for tents and hammocks as well. Yeah, really, really nice. Alright, no more dilly dallying. Gotta get up to the uh, first shelter of the day and have some lunch. Yes, yeah, so we're entering our super rocky phase of the day. That's a nice river. We are surrounded by water today. Uh, camping area here. I think we're about 30 minutes from uh, Saunders Shelter. Trail comes up this way. It's nice here. So we're in for a couple of tents over there. Great hammocking. More tents here and here. Pick you up again at uh, Saunders Shelter. Well, I'm, uh, I don't normally do this, but I'm taking a little detour. It's about a quarter mile to come down to uh, Saunders Shelter. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty level trail coming down. How pretty is this? Stop here and have some lunch. Uh, six miles to Lost Mountain Shelter. I'll probably push on past that. in here. That was a young gentleman that was at a woodchuck hostel last night. Oh, this is a great spot. I'm glad I came down. Do you, do you mind it all being on camera or no? no? What's your name again, mate? Uh, Rufus. 
Rooster. Rooster. <laughs> awesome. This is a nice shelter. Yeah, it is. This is really nice. Nice and deep. Wow. What a great shelter. Really nice fire pit, good seating. Tons, tons of tenting over here and behind. Wow, I think it's one of my favorite spots on the whole trail so far. And uh, that's a privy. And there's another fire pit over there. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna relax, have some lunch, and get back to it. Saunders Shelter. This is hands down the uh, the nicest setting on the entire Appalachian Trail to this point. I mean. Just here. You can fit about 15, 20 tents. Then you got all this area here. And another fire pit. Now the only thing you've got to maybe think about is getting brained by some pine cones, but this is a really lovely spot. I'm glad I came down. Saunders Shelter. Lovely log cabin style, and it's uh, eight person and clean. Yeah, really nice. All right, catch up with you later. Okay. Regular trees. Far out tree. That's like four or five trees almost coming out of the one thing, out of the one trunk. That's very cool. I think it's huge. Hmm. I like it. How neat is that? I think it's finally like the second pond I've come across on the trail so far. This one's naturally occurring by the looks. And there's, uh, as you can tell by the sound, there's a pipe there. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good watering area actually. Very cool. Very pleasant day. I've really enjoyed this walk coming out of Damascus today. Apart from the blister on my uh, right heel, give me drama. Yeah, that's, a, that's not a bad spot. Nice uh, waterfront views. Oh, maybe this was man made. Not quite sure why. Yeah, I'm probably going to have dinner at um, Lost Mountain. Ow! Blister, damn it. At uh, Lost Mountain Shelter. And uh, might redress this blister. And I'll decide whether I push on another couple of miles. There's a, there's a campsite north of it. I don't know. We'll play by here. But it is a good day. 
I would imagine that this is the stream in the book at uh, mile 481. And that is awesome. So I'm going to fill up my uh, two water bottles and uh, keep heading to uh, Lost Mountain Shelter. Oh, this is a lovely little stream. This is uh so I got it at the stream at 481, then there was a footbridge, and then this is the next stream. So at least water hasn't been in short supply, which is nice. That, uh, that pool's about six to seven inches deep. And it's nice and clean, very clean. All right, let's keep going to the shelter. Well, the uh, Appalachian Trail has uh, met up with the Virginia Creeper uh, Cyclist Trail. I mean, obviously it's a walking trail as well, I guess, but it seems to be primarily used by cyclists. This is very pleasant. Very, very nice. So I guess we follow this a little ways. And dips off into the wood line again. Shelter shouldn't really be too far away. That's about six, seven feet deep over there. Very nice, very nice. Oh, this is just off the road. I just came down to have a have a quick look. Not quite sure what this would be for. I mean, it's almost it's like a wheelchair accessible ramp people to get down to the water who knows maybe somebody can enlighten me yeah beautiful beautiful another neat thing along this river is they've got these fishing platforms that they've built for people I've passed about half a dozen of them just jutting out This is a really neat area, I like it. And uh, back in there, there's, you know, benches for you to sit on. It's hard to make out, but through there it's kind of more open. And uh, yeah, it's a really neat place to just sort of hang out with the family. Do a little bit of fishing. Very cool. Well, we're here at Lost Mountain Shelter. And again, this is a really nice setting. Plenty of areas around here for tents, hammocks, whatever you like. But uh, there's a very loud group here. I don't know if the Boy Scouts or whatever, but pretty much claim the place for their own, so I'm, uh, I'm just going to dress my, uh, my blister, 
I throw some duct tape on there to hold that damn band-aid in place and uh, push on to the uh, campsite. I think it's uh, about two miles from here. 